My name's Liam Lacey and I'm the software developer behind the AlphaSphere and its AlphaLife software. In this tutorial video, I'm going to show you how to use the AlphaSphere as a multi-channel MIDI instrument with Propellerhead's Reason. I've also made videos for a number of other DAWs, so make sure you check out the ones that are relevant to the DAWs that you use. Also, please note that this is part two of the using the AlphaSphere as a multi-channel MIDI instrument tutorial. So if you haven't done so yet, you may want to first check out part one of the tutorial where I go over how to program the Sphere to be a multi-channel MIDI instrument using its AlphaLife software. So in this video, I'm going to cover three main things within Reason. How to connect multi-channel MIDI instruments. How to add new instrument tracks and assign individual MIDI channels to each. And finally, give an example of how you can map MIDI CC controls to software parameters. So here I have Propellerhead's Reason 7 running on Mac OS X. I've got a new empty project open, which I set by going to File and New. The AlphaSphere is connected to the computer and the AlphaLife application is running. And I'm using the AlphaLife project that we created in part one of this tutorial, which essentially set different MIDI channels to the different rows of pads. So first, let's go over how to connect the AlphaSphere to Reason and setting up its MIDI input. So if you're on Mac OS X, you need to go to Reason and Preferences, or if you're on Windows, you can find this Preferences item within the Edit menu here. So let's go to Preferences, and then you want to click on the Control Services tab at the top. Now we want to add a new instrument or a new control surface, so go to Add. Now for Manufacturer, you want to select Other, and for Model, you want to select the MIDI Multi-Channel Control Keyboard. Now let's change the name of that to AlphaSphere and set the MIDI input to AlphaSphere and click OK. So you want to make sure that this box here, Use Within Reason, is ticked. After you've done that, go back up to the top and click on the Advanced tab and under External Control, select the first empty bus, so in my example bus A to AlphaSphere. Once you've done that, you have now connected the AlphaSphere to Reason. Next, I'm going to show you how we go about adding three virtual instruments to Reason and giving each one a different MIDI channel. So we need to add three instruments to the project. You can do this by going to Create, Create Instrument. And that will bring up a load of different instruments and sounds that you can select from. So for Track one, let's find a nice synth sound. So I might go to synth leads. And I'll just double click on that. And as you can see in the arrangement view, down here, it's added a new instrument. If I play pads on the alpha sphere, You can hear it's triggering that instrument. Now, if you remember back to the first part of the tutorial, we set row five on the alpha sphere to send mod wheel data with its pressure. So when I when I press this row on the alpha sphere, you can see up here that as I apply more pressure, it changes the mod wheel for this instrument. adds a bit of vibrato to the sound. Now let's create two more virtual instruments for the project. So let's go to create and create instrument. So for track two, let's find a pad sound. So let's go back to all instrument patches. Go to pads evolving and let's select this this one here double click and you add it and again you can see that the pressure is affecting the mod wheel of this instrument let's add our third and final track so create instrument 
And here, let's let's find a bass sound. Double click. Add to the instrument. Perfect. So the next thing we want to do is assign unique MIDI channels to each of these instruments. So to do this, you need to scroll up to the top of the rack of devices in this section here. So scroll up to this hardware interface section. Now you want to click on the advanced MIDI section and it will bring up a new display. And here in the bus select section, make sure you've selected bus A or whatever bus you chose for Alpha Sphere back in the control surface preferences. So now we're going to assign each channel to a different instrument. So first let's go up to the channel one section, click the download arrow button, and we want to set MIDI channel one to Thor one, which is the first instrument we applied. Now make sure you select this item, which has Thor in the brackets or the instrument name in the brackets rather than the mix channel item. So select that. Then for channel two, let's set Thor two in, channel three, or three in. Now if we go back down to the arrangement view, make sure that none of the tracks are record enabled. Then scroll up, just select the transport item so none of the actual instruments are selected. And then when you play the pads on the alpha sphere, it should trigger the three different instruments. So finally, I'm going to give you an example of how we can map MIDI CC pads from the Alpha Sphere to control software parameters within Reason. So to do this, first you just have to right click on the software parameter that you want to control. So let's go to this pad sound. I'm going to choose this uh, resonance parameter. So if you right click and then you select this option here, Edit Remote Override Mapping. So click on that. And then make sure that this learn button, this learn box is ticked and then just press one of the MIDI CC pads on the alpha sphere and it will automatically learn it. It will pick it up. It'll tell you, you know, which control service, which channel, which CC controller, press OK. And now when you press that pad, it's going to control that parameter. And you can do this for pretty much all the controls within reason. So let's try it with this brightness parameter, press a different pad, picks it up, press OK. And now we can control them both. So that's how you can use the Alpha Sphere as a multi-channel MIDI instrument with reason. If you use any other DAWs, make sure you check out the other relevant videos and have a look at our other tutorial videos too. Thanks for watching.